So in this experiment, we're going to be using hydrogen peroxide again. Now remember, that is the substance that breaks down and it forms oxygen and water. And the oxygen is a gas and obviously water is a clear liquid, so it's easier to test for the presence of gas to find out if the hydrogen has been broken down. One way of doing that is to relight a glowing splint like we did when we used the manganese dioxide. But the other way is to add detergent to your hydrogen peroxide because when the oxygen gas is formed, it gets stuck in the detergent and it forms froth, which we can then measure. The more froth, the more the hydrogen peroxide has been broken down to produce the oxygen gas. So in this experiment, we are going to use a range of living and one dead tissue to find out its effect on the hydrogen peroxide. So in my test tubes, I have got equal volumes of hydrogen peroxide and equal volumes of detergent. To one of my test tubes, I'm going to add some potato. To the other one, I'm going to add some carrot. I'm going to add some raw liver to one and some cooked liver to the other one. And then I'm going to leave them for five minutes and then come back and have a look at the froth. So I'm going to pop potato into this one. I'm going to pop carrot into the one next to it. We are going to put some raw liver into this one here. And we're going to pop some boiled liver into the one at the end. Now already you can see, hopefully, start our stop clock. So already you can see that we are starting to see froth. Now remember the froth is a sign that the hydrogen peroxide has been broken down and the oxygen gas is forming. So we're going to leave that now for five minutes and then we'll come back and using a ruler we'll be able to measure the height of the froth. So as we come to the end of our five minutes what we're going to do now is measure the height of the froth in each of the test tubes. So we have a look at the one with the potato first. We are going to measure the height of froth and what we'll do is measure it in millimetres. So for the potato we have got five millimetres of oxygen have been produced because we're measuring the height of froth here. So five millimetres for the potato. And we have got three millimetres. For the carrot, for the raw liver, we have got 34 millimetres. And the cooked liver has actually been able to produce still 9 millimetres of froth. So why has that happened? So in that five minutes, each of the living tissues has got an enzyme called catalase in it. And what catalase is able to do is break down the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. So the more catalase the tissue has, the more oxygen is produced, therefore the more froth that we are able to measure. The one that's surprising in that is the cooked liver. You would have expected that the one that had the, the kind of the boiled um, or cooked liver that their enzymes maybe wouldn't have been destroyed but maybe it just hasn't been boiled enough that's one I'll maybe have another a little look at later on you're definitely expected but you can still see the comparison the raw liver has got 34 millimeters of froth whereas the cooked liver has got only nine so the catalase the tissue that has the most catalase activity is the raw liver 